Hi, everyone. Welcome to Cascadia, our conference. This is our second year in Portland, and we're very excited to have you all here. I'm Lily, and I'm one of the organizers. And the other organizers are all wearing this light blue t-shirt. In case you need anything from us, please come and find us. Um, if our agenda is on our web page, cascadiaarconf.com. And we also have a Slack channel that we're using to communicate with each other, to tell you guys any last minute updates. And it's also useful for the workshops. If you have questions during the workshops, you can ask people in the Slack channel. And then if you are on Twitter, our hashtag is hashtag Cascadia Arcom. We would like to begin this conference by acknowledging that the land on which we gather is the traditional and unceded territory of the Clackamas and Multnomah peoples, now part of the Confederated Tribes of the Grand Ronde. So as I said, I'm Lily, and we have the rest of the organizers, Aaron. Aaron, can you wave? He's in the back. Chester's up here. John. Jess, Ted in the back, and then Scott, who's also in the back. And please, if you have any concerns, feel free to come up and talk to any of us. Especially, I want everyone to read our code of conduct, and if you have not read it, I will read it out loud to you now. We are very dedicated to providing a harassment-free conference experience for everyone, regardless of gender, gender identity and expression, sexual orientation, disability, physical appearance, body size, race, age, or religion. We do not tolerate harassment of any kind. Sexual language and imagery is not appropriate for any conference venue. Conference participants violating these rules may be sanctioned or expelled. Harassment includes verbal comments, that reinforce social structures or domination related to gender, gender identity and expression, sexual orientation, disability, physical appearance, body size, race, age, religion, etc. Participants asked to stop any harassing behavior are expected to comply immediately. If a participant engages in harassing behavior, the conference organizers, us, may take action that they deem appropriate, including warning or expelling the offender. If you are being harassed in any way that you feel, notice, um, or if you notice someone that's being harassed, or if you have any other concerns, contact one of the staff members. You can also email us at cascadiaarconf at gmail.com if you don't feel comfortable talking to one of us. And we also have our phone numbers listed on the website right now if, that, if you want to contact us in that way. We also have a photography policy if you do not want to be photographed, at the front desk we have red stickers that you can put on your name tag badge. So if you do not want to be photographed, please grab a red sticker. And um, again, we expect everyone to adhere to this code of conduct and um, we just want this to be a very friendly and positive experience for everyone. So please come talk to us if you have any problems. We take this very seriously. Thank you. All right, now on to the other details. The Wi-Fi at OHSU is the OHSU Guest Network. And again, there's the link for the Slack channel. Tonight we'll be having bird of a feather dinners that are um, just fun opportunities. They're very informal. If anybody wants to go out to dinner with a group of people that they met at the conference tonight and talk about a fun topic of interest, uh, that is being set up in the Slack channels, the BOF Dinners channel. Um, one very big thing to note is that there is an event going on on the first floor right now, so we ask that everyone is very quiet whenever they leave this room, so as to not disturb that event. It will be over at lunchtime, though, so after that you can go out in the hallways and make as much noise as you want. The workshop locations, the beginner tracks are in 3A002, and which is this room? This side of this room. It will uh, be divided for the workshops. 
And then the intermediate track rooms are 3A, 003A, and B, which are down the hallway and to the left. There are signs outside. And then the hack room will be that side of this room once it's divided. And that's a space where you can go and work on something else. Restrooms and drinking fountains are located right outside here. And then lunch will be catered from noon to 1.15. We want to thank all of our sponsors that have made this event possible. So we have Microsoft Azure, Markham, the OHSU Department of Medical Informatics and Clinical Epidemiology, the OHSU Graduate Student Organization, Sage Bionetworks, H2O, Colada Data, and Axio. Thank you so much for all of your support. We also want to thank OHSU for hosting and providing this great building for us and the OHSU DMICE department. Okay, now we want you guys to have a few minutes to talk to each other and just introduce, say something um, to your neighbor, get to know each other. If you want a prompt, you can talk about what your favorite R package is or what, what's the messiest data that you've ever looked at. And then after that, we're going to have a quick announcement about Craggy, and then we're going to move on to our talks. So you have two minutes, so talk to your neighbor. Okay, everybody. Thank you for introducing yourselves. Um, that should we should regard it as a continuing activity all day. Uh, and I, I just want to make a couple of comments about Craggy. This is the first time we're doing this, so this is an experiment. would love to hear your feedback about the whole idea. Um, it's supposed to be a fun kind of thing, not competitive. Uh, entries are posted down there on the, uh, w in one corner. There may be other entries coming in. Uh, so when you have a chance, go look. There are post-its. Uh, sitting there so you can leave questions and we also will have uh, green dots where you can vote for one that you'd like to hear about so the entries that have the most votes will be invited to do a lightning talk at the very end of the day so one entry one vote per person please and uh, the lightning Craggy lightning talks will be at four. So as it happens, this data set will be used for Tidy Tuesday uh, next Tuesday. So if you get good ideas about what to do with this data set from your own experience or from others, then uh, please go right ahead. Uh, start stealing each other's ideas and uh, submit it on Tuesday. Um, set up what? If people who need to set up for the class. Yeah. So, um, yeah, if, if you are attending the um, intermediate R and SQL workshop 
and are in the process of setting up or need some coaching, Aaron and a couple of other uh, TAs are going to be in that far corner by the craggy entries. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to Chester, who's going to introduce our keynote speaker.